Are you an investor looking for premium market opportunities? Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calcon. Hello, I'm Rachel for Calkine TV. Let's take a look at 12 things that happened in the Australian economy during the last quarter. Well, firstly, our economy grew 0.5% during the December quarter 2022 and 2.7% compared to last year. This was the fifth consecutive quarter of growth since the COVID-19 Delta variant lockdowns. Secondly, international trade drove the increase in growth with exports growing 1.1% and imports falling 4.3%. Price pressures continued. Consumer prices rose 1.9% during the December quarter 2022 and 7.8% compared to last year. The annual increase in inflation was the highest since 1990. The drivers of the quarterly consumer price increase were holiday travel, accommodation and electricity. Fourthly, we tightened our belts on discretionary goods. Retail sales fell 3.9% in the month of December. That was following 11 consecutive monthly rises. And we continue to eat into our savings buffer. Households only saved 4.5% of their income during the December quarter 2022, and that's down from 7.1% in the September quarter of 2022. Wage growth responded to tight labour market conditions and higher inflation. Compensation of employees rose 2.1%. The unemployment rate for the month of December was 3.5%. And at number seven, we saw taxes rise. Wage growth combined with a tight labor market and increased investment returns saw income taxes paid by individuals increase 7.4% during the quarter. And investment in new dwellings increased 1.4%. Mining production grew for the third quarter in a row on the back of the strength of iron ore extraction, which grew 4.8%. The domestic aviation industry continued its recovery, flying 4.8% higher during the quarter, but is still only at around one-third of its pre-pandemic levels. At number 10, travel services and coal drove our exports. Tourism and returning international students contributed to an 18.9% increase in travel service exports. And our current account recorded a surplus. Our trade surplus was $40.9 billion, the second highest on record. And lastly, labor productivity slumped. GDP per hour worked fell 3.5% throughout the year, the weakest on record, as the distortionary impacts of COVID-19 on a workforce composition unwound. So that's the Australian economy in a nutshell over the last quarter. And that's the latest on Calkine TV's trending economic news. I'm Rachel signing off for now.